I'm Shannon Skinner. My heart's desire is to travel the world and uncover its hidden gems. In this vlog series, I travel to India. For a lot of people, India is a once in a lifetime destination. So it is very important, uh, you know, to to give that experience. Now, see, Vasco Travel, uh, I am the third generation in this business. It was uh, incorporated by my grandfather and my father. And we've been focusing on uh, niche markets, uh, Italian, Canadian, Latin American. And uh, what sets us apart is, uh, you know, the overall experience we give to our clients. Over the years, uh, what we've understood that uh, the market dynamics are changing very rapidly and we need to give uh, our travelers uh, something which is really unique in terms of the experience. For a lot of our clients, we they, they don't want to have meals in, in the restaurant at all. They would say that only one meal maximum we would not want to have in the, in the hotel. So we would suggest some restaurants which are safe in terms of hygiene, quality, and the food is not very spicy because, you know, like for a foreigner, you know, you can't handle very high level of spices because you can get sick. So that is where our expertise will come in place. It's all about uh, uh, bringing, bringing uh, cultures closely and they understand uh, the living traditions of India. And what we do is uh, we would organize meal with Indian families or you know a local vintage car ride. Uh, uh, so what we've done is that we've identified uh, you know six seven different elements which we feel are important uh, for any traveler coming to India. Uh, one being a step in the past. So what we do is uh, give experiences how it used to be. And that could be a vintage car ride, for instance, or uh, you know, you play the Royal uh, Elephant Polo Sport. Okay. The second one, uh, you know, be an apprentice. We all like to learn uh, while we are traveling. That could be how to cook the Indian curry, for instance. Okay. Thirdly, we we uh, put a lot of emphasis on responsible tourism, and that's what I feel is in today's time is very important because. Uh, we all need to give something back to the society. See, the, the most popular destination uh, for anyone uh, coming to India is uh, Rajasthan and they definitely would like to see the Taj Mahal. Rajasthan, you know, being, uh, you know, the land for vibrant colors, palaces, and that's what, uh, you know, people look for. And there's a lot of, uh, you know, uh, combinations and each city in Rajasthan is unique. Okay, but then you know, as people are traveling more uh, into India, so other destinations are also becoming very popular. The south is becoming very popular, uh, uh, the east is becoming very popular, the Sikkim, uh, you know, Calcutta that's becoming popular because people have already traveled in the north and the south and they are now looking for newer destinations, which is why you know, uh, the demand and the interest is growing, uh, you know, with time. And the government also is putting a lot of uh, focus on promoting uh, these destinations. So Northeast, uh, it's uh, you know I would say it's really unexplored, and uh, it's uh, one of the best kept secrets of India, and not many people have visited. I mean, Assam, for instance, we only know that it's known for its tea. That's about it. But then uh, there's much more and much beyond, uh, you know, just the tea. You know, there are beautiful tribes and uh, the way people live. It is something, uh, yes, it is not probably for the person who's going to India for the first time. But yes, secondly, second, third time, when you travel, when you see places, you come across uh, people, uh, you know, you, you meet them, you, you understand, uh, you know, the, the way of living, the way of life, the society. So it, it gives you a different perspective of, uh, I would say, way of living.